Wow. The Supergirl Flash crossover episode was the best I've seen of its type ever. First of all, major shout outs to Melissa Benoist, McCad Brooks, Jeremy M. Jordan, Laura Benetti, Britt Morgan, Callista Flockhart. Outstanding performances to the Supergirl writers, fantastic to the producers who also produced The Flash. Two thumbs up. What I love most about this, the character interplay between Supergirl and The Flash, as well as the entire cast. Everyone looked like they had a lot of fun doing this. And I, if memory serves, recall that Jeremy M. Jordan said on Twitter that hold metahuman term didn't just come out of thin air. Who made that up? I'm, look, it's been used before, I know. But it was a fun joke on Twitter that carried into the, that came up as the everyone was watching the program, thanks to Jeremy and Jordan. Bottom line is that because of the mix of the audiences from Supergirl and The Flash, which if you think about it really are the same, the hashtag Supergirl X The Flash or Supergirl Meets The Flash crossover rose to the point where it's number one worldwide, not just regionally, but worldwide on Twitter. It was over Dancing With The Stars. So with that, don't be surprised if Supergirl, this episode, does not overtake Dancing With The Stars in the ratings. That would be a major first. And the kind of boost this great program needs to sustain itself into the future. Congratulations to everyone, and I can't wait for more. And boom, I, hey, I have to say, props to Melissa Benoist and McCann Brooks for the kissing scene, and I can't wait to see the next episode to find out what happens with Jimmy Olsen, because at first I thought that maybe Supergirl kissed Jimmy Olsen so hard that she wiped his brains out. <laughs> that was great. I loved it. And not only that, I loved it for this reason. It was interracial. And not just interracial, like, black woman, you know, white guy. It was the reverse. And we don't see a lot of that. So, great. I mean, it's a major advance. I don't think anyone realizes, and I will tell you as a 53-year-old person, man, who's watched superhero movies and programs for most of his life, well, all of my life, going back to Star Trek in 1966 and science fiction, that the presentation of America as it is it's a long time coming. It's about time. Thank you so much.